All right, uh, so my name is Ghostbird RJ. Uh, we're currently at the Mixed Down Volume 4. Uh, I'll be performing tonight. Got eight tracks, a mixed bag of unreleased as well as some stuff that I do have out. I'm um, looking forward to the performance tonight. And yeah, we're at Century Gardens, as you can see. Uh, my hometown, Brampton, down the street from where I live. So yeah. How do you feel performing at the Mixed Down today? Um, honestly, I'm grateful. Uh, shout out to Marie. Honestly, she's put together a, an amazing event. And even the last time I performed at the Mixed Down, it was, it was a different type of experience. It was very supportive. Uh, you get to like debut new songs with people and like kind of see their reactions and just have a hand in the community being able to show them what you're doing at the moment. So, so um, in terms of my connection to the event, I've grown up in Brampton all my life. I've been down here representing for the community uh, and other spaces. But uh, in terms of the relationship that I got with Marie, we've collaborated a few times and it just makes sense in terms of um, being able to give that representation for the city, being able to perform in front of the city. Um, but yes, I have performed at Mixed Down Volume 3. There's actually some documentation for that, so you can check that out. What message do you hope to convey to the audience today? Um, the overall message I would hope to convey to the audience is you can have quality and still be able to do what you want to do personally. Um, a lot of the styles that I'm going to be showcasing aren't really popular, they're very niche, but at the same time, like, I just want to give representation for a smaller ear. And yeah, I'm that for today, so yeah. All right, so uh, one memorable moment in my career I can think about off the top of my head. Uh, last year, I had the opportunity to perform at the Elmo Combo. Uh, it was a crazy night, the room was packed. Uh, I was out there with my boy Switch, as well as KG, also part of the label I own, Ghost Town Records. Um, that was definitely a night to remember, uh, but some other notable moments was definitely like being able to have conversations with people like Redman, uh, have him appreciate some beats, give me feedback in terms of like some of the music that I had at the time. Um, but yeah, like I definitely say like, there's a lot of things on the journey I've been able to experience that I'm fortunate enough to experience, especially at 22 years old. But those are just a couple of things that I've been able to do. Do you have like any major influences when it comes to like making your songs? Anyone like, that you look up to specifically, or just go the flow? So, in terms of that now, I would say it's a mixed bag uh, because I am a producer as well. Um, some of my favorite references split in between production as well as the artistry. Uh, in terms of production, very inspired by Dilla, Alchemist, Madlib, um, my mentor, Switch B, uh, as well as Just Blaze. Those would be my five for there. But in terms of artistry, it's like Capital Steves, Styles P, Mac Miller, um, and maybe like, Probably, yeah, Drake. Drake in his rapping bag. Drake, Drake in his rapping bag. And um, I think I give that fifth spot. Probably Hove. You think there's like, because your style is very different than like most Toronto or like GTA sounds. So you're more of an MC or real rap, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, you think there's like less of that nowadays? And how can we really like go about having more of that in the city? Like, what do you think is the solution? Um, honestly, I don't think it's a matter of there being less or more. I feel like um, one thing that I was able to pick up while I was in school, I had a class for popular music. And one thing that they teach you is that while there's always a mainstream, there's always peripheries that are able to come into light as soon as like there's an opportunity. So we go through cycles in music where we have certain sounds dominating at a certain period of time. But at the moment, we're currently experiencing a resurgence in this type of sound with producers putting on like Hit Boy, producers putting on like Alchemist for the scene in terms of being able to curate those sounds. And I think right now, especially in Toronto, we got a lot of that coming out. So because there's so many different collaborators, 
it's only a matter of time before the periphery or the niche becomes the mainstream, like it's going to become eventually. So, just explain Ghost Town Records just very briefly what it is, maybe like how you kind of came up with the idea for it. Okay, cool. Um, with Ghost Town Records, uh, abbreviations GTR, I definitely thought about that and it started off as an idea in 2019. Um, essentially, with the rise of independent uh, distributors like DistroKid, uh, TuneCore, and such and such, I was like, you know what? There's no reason why I can't use the resources that I have in order to benefit the people around me. So Ghost Town Records acts as a label for people that I found within the community or people that I was able to develop with along like the span of my career. And when it comes to why and how I go about it, I have to take off my artist hat for that and put on my business hat. I'm also in school for business administration marketing. So I was able to translate a lot of that information into benefiting the label itself, as well as just nurturing some of my relationships so that it makes sense. So now we're at a point where we have like an Afro artist, we have some rappers, we have some producers. Uh, we're actually incubating some like singers, uh, alternative artists as well. And the whole goal is just to make people be the best version of themselves. Um, the name Ghost Town is just to signify the fact that like usually in the beginning nobody's really watching, but People know what ghosts are, but they haven't seen them. So it's a phenomenon. I want to hold that inside the industry, being able to curate something for the community without necessarily always having to be present. Yo, what's good? It's Ghost for RJ, AKA King Casper, artist slash producer slash label owner. And I'm on the Moment Network. Peace. <laughs>